Okay, wait for one minute. <laughs> Rio was born with a one in a million bone deficiency in his lower right leg. He was missing his tibia, his knee joint and his ankle joint. And we were told when he was five days old that he would need to have a through knee amputation in order to have a properly fitting prosthetic leg. House. As parents, when you have a child who is born differently abled, you think about how life might be a challenge for them and you hope that you can do everything possible to let them be able to fit in with their peers um, in class, uh, school, with their friends at home and demand has helped Rio um, do the same thing as his peers do. A great part of the day is working at his table with a group and the use of the rest for his blade is actually beneficial to him and the other children. Because with a straight prosthetic leg that he has, he had to previously perch on the edge of the seat in order to get his prosthetic foot on the floor. When he's not got the support and he's on a normal chair, he, he doesn't sit on the chair properly. Whereas now he can sit back comfortably and his, his prosthetic leg is raised and it's much more comfortable. So before he had the equipment, we might have had to organise an activity in a separate part of the school. Uh, he might have had to have lunch in the classroom. Now, with the right equipment, he's just part of the normal working day. He experiences lunch in the dining room just like everybody else. He's a character. He's very independent. He likes to do things on his own. He doesn't like too much help. That's real inclusive education. It isn't inclusive if you're having to have a child come through a different entrance or take an activity to another part of the school where their friends aren't. Once um, Rio's occupational therapist at the Peace Centre and at um, Hearts County Council told us about Demand, they then contacted um, Demand to ask them to make an appointment to come and see us. And within, I think, a day or two, we had a phone call from Paul initially at Demand and he and Brian came along and they assessed Rio's needs and with great attention to detail and we really felt like we were getting a, absolutely the most personalised service possible. They looked to see how Rio got in and out of the bath. I'm about to do in the bath. At that point we were having to lift him um, for his safety whereas um, they've created these incredible bath steps with three steps up. They worked out exactly how many steps Rio would need to comfortably get up to into the bath where he would be able to sit on the edge. With the handrails they worked out that he would need to swivel himself around to get into the bath so they actually left a gap on one of the side handrails so that he could swing his left leg around to get into the bath. As a class teacher to have a child with a disability in class being able to take part in normal activities and move around the classroom um, and be able to work as the others is actually really good feeling. The equipment that Demand has made is absolutely wonderful because you obviously you can't buy it in the shops and um, what I really love about Demand is they don't make you feel conscious of the incredible cost and I'm sure it's very expensive to make this bespoke equipment but for each person their priority is just to get the requirements right and um, with great attention to detail and they put that above and beyond the cost and what other charity does that it's just fantastic.